Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to solve two-step equations in two steps. So today our equation is going to be 4 and 5 tenths plus 2 tenths p is equal to 6 and 1 tenth. Uh, we'll be solving for the value of p. Okay, so your goal in a two-step equation is to isolate the variable and have p equals something. Now, our first step in doing that is to get rid of the 4 and 5 tenths on the left side of the equation. So, you're just left with 2 tenths p on the left side of the equal sign. But, if we do that, we have to do the same thing to the right side of the equal sign. Because, if you think of it as a scale, and you have 4 and 5 tenths plus 2 tenths p on one side of the fulcrum, or equal sign, and you have 6 and 1 tenth on the right side of the fulcrum, or the equal sign, and you take away 4 and 5 tenths units, let's say, from the left side of the fulcrum, then in order to keep it equal, you have to take away the same amount from the right side of the fulcrum, or else it's going to be uneven and your equation is going to be all messed up. So if we do that, it's going to look something like this. Okay, so now we're left with 2 tenths p is equal to 1 and 6 tenths. And this sets us up for the next part of the equation. So now we're on to step 2 of the equation. Now, what you want to do in this step is you ultimately just want to isolate the variable. And how you're going to do that is you're going to make 2 tenths p into 1 p. Now, however you make a number into 1, you just divide the number by itself, and that's going to look like this. Okay, so now we've finally isolated the variable, you just get 1p, or just p, because multiplying a number by 1 is just the number itself. So we're left with p, but like we said in the last, equa in the last step of the equation, what you do to one side of the equal sign you, you ultimately have to do the other, because if you don't, then your equation is not going to be equal anymore. So if I divide 1 and 6 tenths divided by 2 tenths, it's going to look something like this. Okay, so now we finally got our equation down to p equals 8. Now, we can get rid of this right here, because that doesn't help us out. So all we're left with is just p equals 8. So you're not quite done yet. What you have to do is you have to check your answer to make sure that p equals 8 is true. Now you do that by plugging in an 8 wherever you see p in the problem. Now p is only mentioned once in the problem, so, so there's only going to be an 8 once in the problem. Now so now that we know that p equals 8, our equation is 4 and 5 tenths plus 2 tenths times 8 is equal to 6 and 1 tenth. So if we were to solve this problem, it would look something like this. Okay, so now that you've checked your answer, you know that p equals 8 is true if the equation is 4 and 5 tenths plus 2 tenths p is equal to 6 and 1 tenth. Okay, so those are the two steps in how to solve a two-step equation. The first step was to get rid of the 4 and 5 tenths on both sides of the equal sign. So we ended up with 2 tenths p is equal to 1 and 6 tenths. Now we need to isolate the variable. So all we have to do is divide each side by 2 tenths because whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. And we got p is equal to 8. Now can't forget to check your answer because that is the secret third step that is the most important. Uh, thank you all for watching this tutorial on how to solve two-step equations. I hope it proved to be helpful. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.